Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I will tell you the China number one university fully funded scholarship program. So if you want to move in China for your higher studies, so this is video for you. So I will tell you in this video the complete process for applying these scholarships, its ranking, its all documentation procedure and live I will apply for this uh, scholarship in this video. So if you are new in this channel, kindly subscribe it and click on bell icon button for latest and upcoming updates. So let's start the video. So the name of this university is Tsinghua University Scotsman Scholarship. The main name of this university is Tsinghua University and the scholarship name is Tsinghua University Scotsman Scholarship Program 2023-2024. So you can see the university name, degree levels. This scholarship is just for master degree students. Scholarship coverage, fully funded scholarships, and eligibility criteria. All national, all nationalities can avail this opportunity. It's awarded by China University, China country. The last date for applying this scholarship is 19 September 2023. So the financial benefits they are providing by university. So you can see complete tuition fee will be provided by university stipend uh, $4,000 for personal expenses will be given for as a monthly for international students room and boarding also provided by university round airfare tickets for travel to and from Beijing at the beginning and end of the academic year in and uh, in country study tour will be provided by university free of cost uh, required course books and supplies all the expenses will be provided by uh, this university and even health insurance will also be provided by this university so a lot of benefits are providing by this university so i will suggest everyone can apply for this uh, university so let's talk about uh, study fields so if you are interested in international relations chinese business science and engineering economics humanities in addition asian studies social sciences and public policies so these are the courses are available in this universities so eligibility criteria first age requirements candidate must be at least 18 but not yet 28 years of age as of as one of their scholarship scholar enrollment year applicant who are currently enrolled in undergraduate degree programs so the degree must be completed before 1st August 2024. So the English language proficiency, if you have a TOEFL, then minimum score of 600. If you have a IELTS, then minimum score of 7. So if your previous education in English language and you studied last two years in English language, so you have to provide English proficiency letter. So you can see you can apply on English proficiency letter as well. So there is no application fees, no need of IELTS, so easily you can apply. So documents for this uh, scholarship is uh, online application form. Uh, you have to fill online application form and you have to upload updated CV. CV should be two pages, two essay. Uh, you have to upload or write down on online application form uh, in which you have to mention your leadership, uh, your motivation, your uh, statement of purpose. You have to upload your transcripts, your degrees, Three letter of recommendation you have to upload and video introduction statement. So if you don't want to upload video introduction, then you can type here statement about your video, your motivation. Uh, this is the complete documentation process for this uh, scholarships. So let's move to the uh, scholarship websites. So this is the main page of uh, the scholarship website. So I will provide in uh, description. So just click on link and you will come to this website. So you can see the remaining time uh, 20 days left and the US and global applicants application now open and the deadline for this program is 19 September and programs a selection cycle October to November 2023 will be decided program begins in August 2024 so applicant with Chinese passports are now closed so we are international students so now we can apply so just click on apply now option so scroll down and can see if you are applying first time then you have to create an account so click on create an account option so put here your email address your first name last name and date of birth then simply click on continue and the uh, university will send you email address same like that so click on this link or type uh, copy the simple pin here and then simple paste on 
um, this page and then continue to login option so i already uh, 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 made an account in this website so i just click on login option so just login your id and um, scroll down the page and you can see it's here uh, start new application option so i've already uh, made an application uh, so you can see the status in progress so if you are applying first time so click on start new application so i'm clicking on this option to continue my application so click on open application so the first option is your personal information you have to put your all details uh, like that your first name and last name then you have to put your current address choose your country type your street address city region postal code and then type your email address and then type your primary phone number with country code the next biographical information choose your gender then type your birth date country city religion native language choose then master status citizenship information choose your uh, primary citizenships uh, same like that pakistan if you have any other uh, scandinavian citizenship then choose your scandinavian citizenships otherwise skip this option and then passport ocean country choose then simple click on continue option next you have to write your biographical profile about 100 words so summarize your main leadership accomplishment and future aspirations you so you have to write down your uh, leadership accomplishment and future aspiration about this scholarship about your uh, motivation so the profile should be 100 words and then you have to upload your resume cv two pages maximum so you you must use this exact naming con uh, conventions so when you make a cv so rename the cv and uh, type last name and then first name and then type resume your cv then choose your file and upload here next is your video introductions so i already tell you about video introduction so if you want to make a video so save your video on youtube or vimeo and provide the shareable link here so if you don't want to Oh, upload your video then choose uh, here option no and type here your uh, about uh, introduction uh, your qualification and extra here the next is your interest select two interests that best identify with your professional leadership aspirations so choose two uh, courses according to your interest so uh, i choose energy and choose technology have you applied to scholarship and scholarship before so select no and then simply click on continue option next you have to put your educational details if you are applying for a masters then you have to put your undergraduates or bachelor degree details you don't need to put your higher standard school education details so just put your university details so just click on add institution name choose your university and type your country city religion and date of attended your university when will be your university started so type here and your graduation date level of study choose your uh, undergraduate and degree awarded or expected if you have degree then select uh, bachelor degree and type your degree awarded or anticipated date type your here uh, graduation date field of study type your major uh, field of study here cgpa type your cgpa out of what your cgpa choose your language if your uh, la uh, education your previous education is english language so select yes otherwise skip this option degree designation if applicable select first class honor according to your grades so next you have to upload your transcripts choose your file here and then again you have to choose your file and select your degree so you have to put your uh, you have to upload your degree and transcripts file here so the uh, file name should be uh, first your last name and then first name and then institution name then send, uh, when you have uh, you have uploaded the file then simple click on save option so i have already uploaded you can see here and next will you have uh, completed your undergraduate degree by august 1 2024 if you have completed your degree before 20 uh, 24 august so select yes otherwise select no so select yes then simply click on continue option next is your language skills so you can see your na uh, native language is listed on the personal information tab of application do not include it here so you already uh, write down your uh, native language in personal information so you don't need to put here so just choose other languages except your native language so choose english language and select your uh, language level then scroll down and you can see the english proficiency please select one that apply to you so if you are a native speaker then choose your uh, first option if you are uh, if you are applying for english proficiency letter then choose second option and otherwise select third option according to your relevancy so what was the primary language instru instruction in your undergraduate degree program so select your primary education i selected english so next if you are a non english speaker who studied a minimum 2 year in english so write down your uh, english uh, 
education so you have to write down here your english uh, education previous education details so it's same like you can see i am a graduate in vs mechanical engineering technology with your cgpa and you can type my previous education my previous engineering or course was in english all lecture and subject was in english language. so you can type here same like that or you can type uh, from uh, chat gpt then simple click on continue option the option is leadership roles so you have to showcase up to five leadership roles if any so click on this option add role and choose your leadership role you can choose your you are a good communicator uh, suppose you can choose any leadership role if you have so type your organization you can use your university name start date and date of the university and choose your country brief description about this role so you have to type five leadership qualities here above and type brief description here then simple click on save options next is your uh, award and recognitions so if you uh, have any awards and recognitions then simple click on add award and recognitions so type your award name so if you did uh, any internship you have any uh, certificate in your previous education yeah. Uh, yeah. for any award so you can type here you can type your details about your award date country brief description then simple click on save option and then simple click on continue so next uh, they are asking about your professional experience so uh, if you did any uh, job any internships you can type here about uh, your internship you can type here about your professional experience so add full time work click here and then put your all uh, job details and then simple click on continue option next uh, is essay so you must use this exact naming convention last name first name and leadership first you have to write down your leadership essay and you can read details about leadership essay so uh, choose file and then simply click on leadership essay so you can um, in leadership essay you can type about your uh, any abilities any leadership qualities motivations here next you have to put your uh, upload your statement of purpose next short questions answers take one aspect of the mission of scholars uh, scholar as you see describes it align with where you are today professionally and personally how it will advance your goals so they are asking about your advanced goals about your motivation uh, why uh, you are choosing this scholarship program why you want to move uh, china so you have to mention here next tell us something about yourself about admission committee so you have to mention here about yourself your introduction here seem like so then simple click on continue option next part is recommendation you have to provide at least three letter of recommendation that is quickly discuss a candidate first letter should be written prefer uh, preferably by a professor and the next letter must be candidate uh, from any faculty of your university you can uh, make this letter from any professor any a lecturer from your previous education university the third letter may be written by recommender employer or mentor so you have to upload your uh, recommender details uh, recommendation letter till 19 september 2023 so just click on add recommender option so select your recommender uh, suppose doctor so write down your uh, professor name last name organization type your university name position title relationship and write down your, your telephone number and email number and then simple click on send to recommender uh, you have to add same like that three recommendation then simple click on continue option next to disciplinary actions so have you ever been drawn from being dismissed like no have you ever been dismissed suspended disciplines like no so have you ever been arrested charged or convicted of a felony so select no option do you know of any disciplinary or legal matters select no i acknowledge that duty to full disclose all relevant information so select yes and then simple click uh, then next you have to write down your uh, full legal name so the uh, write down your full name here and then simple click on continue option next is uh, additional information so choose your country how did you hear about student scholarships so select your uh, any option select it at the website so military service please provide us with your current military status select like, uh, i'm not currently serving and have never served in the military select no clarification comments option it's optional so skip this so post bachelor full time work experience optional so if you have any experience so select uh, your experience otherwise skip this option so next which of the following best represent your racial or ethnic heritage so select according to your uh, let me see so i'm choosing this and then simply click on continue option 
So next is the final step electronic signature. So scroll down and in place of your signature, you can type here your full name. So type your full name and then simply click on confirm options. So the next option is review. We have detected the following error with your applications uh, because I have not uploaded any CV, any biographical profile. So I have just uh, uh, I just tell you the procedure for applying this scholarship. So I think you got it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, so just like it and click on the like button for latest and upcoming. Uh, up. So best of luck and have a nice day. Thank you.